Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Uh, this video doesn't really have an actual purpose. It's only to show you guys my new beautiful cheap haul. <laughs> um, should I show you? And yes, I got a haircut as well. Um, I didn't want my hair to be cut that much. But the hairdresser was kind of tired that evening and uh, he wanted to just finish up soon, fast. So I, yeah, he just kept cutting and I took off my glasses so I couldn't really see it clearly. And afterwards I was just like, uh, what? Where's my hair? <laughs> yeah, so it's gone. But it's okay, I'm getting used to it and it's growing out anyway, so. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I bought this beautiful towel pal. A towel pal, towel pal. What? I bought this beautiful chi pal from Taobao. There we go. Um, Want to put a link below, of course, if you guys are interested. Uh, I love the chi pal, but I don't like the fabric. And the fabric, because the fabric is like really, um, you can't stretch it, so you literally cannot breathe when you, because it's going all this way up here in your throat. Oh like here um, so if you sit down it's gonna be like like this <laughs> if that makes sense um, so I really love this one this one because it's like made of this velvet thing and it's so much nicer and more comfortable to wear and it's stretchy and I can breathe and I can fit it so that's great uh, I was looking on Taobao for like bigger sizes because the cheap how usually is like really small size the average size is really small but I found this one for a big eye um, fat auntie or fat Mimi. <laughs> um, and it was uh, it was okay, it's not that pricey and I really really love this dress. So anyways, I actually bought it before I knew what I was going to do for Chinese New Year and I think I told some of you guys that I was not doing anything for Chinese New Year, but yeah, yeah, I'm a very spontaneous person and I had a bad day and then I looked on my WeChat, do 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 do. And uh, one girl, one of my um, friends that I met in Denmark, she said, Oh, I'm coming home soon. Where are you? And I was like, I'm in Beijing. And she was like, Hey, what about you coming to Zhejiang and uh, celebrate Chinese New Year with me and my family? And I was like, Well, you know, why not? <laughs> uh, so I checked the tickets, and they were not too expensive because I'm gonna fly out on Chinese New Year, the day, like the evening, um, which means that nobody is flying out on that day. So the prices were really low, and I was like, it doesn't really matter for me if I come like the day before or after Chinese New Year. I just want to go and see my friend and her family and everything. So I'm gonna fly to Hangzhou, and then from Hangzhou, I'm gonna take uh, I don't know, train or bus maybe to the small town where my friend is coming from. And I'm gonna go and see her family. And if you guys wanna follow, please let me know, because then I might make some video from there. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to Hangzhou to meet one of my blogger friends, speaking of China. Dot com Jocelyn uh, I'm really excited to meet her she's been a great support every time I needed her and when I talk to her she's just she seems amazing online so I assume she's amazing offline as well so I'm gonna go and crash on her couch for a few days and see her and talk to her and her husband and explore a little bit of Hangzhou and then I'm gonna go to Shanghai to meet another youtuber shout out to Hamri I think that's how you say the name <laughs> um, we're probably gonna do something together and then I I am going to, uh, this is kind of random, I'm going to this really small uh, countryside town, I think. I didn't really check it up yet, but anyway, look it up yet, but anyways. Um, the story is like this, I came to China in 2011 and in 12 I wanted to stay for two more months. So when I extended the stay, I stayed with a Chinese family in the suburbs of Beijing, which is really boring. <laughs> and uh, you know, the internet is not always working and the, wife, the VPN is kind of slow. So uh, I was really bored a lot of the time out there and I talked to one of the security guards uh, nearby my house and I would go and see him and we would sit and like study together or he was just there and I like my Chinese was really bad but anyways I took him to Tiananmen Square to see Mao and uh, he was really excited so that was really cool and um, and uh, then I didn't talk to him for five years but then suddenly one guy 
uh, one day a guy he added me on WeChat and I was like I don't know who you are and he kept talking like yeah you know you know you know and I was like I don't know and then in the end suddenly it came to me and I was like you are the security guard from that time in Beijing I remember so he asked me if I wanted to come and visit where he's working right now I think he started a restaurant if I remember correctly so I will go there and say hello to him and his wife he got married and had a baby sadly the baby is with the parents in his hometown but I'm gonna go see him and the wife and uh, that's gonna be really interesting I think <laughs> I haven't seen him for a hundred years but anyways um, yeah and then I'm gonna go back to Shanghai and then fly out uh, I fly back to Beijing so that's gonna be interesting again interesting 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 it is I hope it is gonna be interesting or not well maybe no, no, it will be interesting. <laughs> and uh, and just a few days later, my Gui Mi is gonna come. It's gonna be so exciting. We're gonna go and travel together. I'm probably gonna wear my chi pao. Maybe not, but I would like to. <laughs> it's very cold. It's very cold, but um, you know, if you're happy, who cares about the cold? No, fashion cold. I should stop talking. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my chi pao here. I'm gonna take by the way if you're wondering where i am i am just in our forgotten restaurant here oh i'm wearing my slippers darling i did bring my shoes but i forgot to change <laughs> awkward anyways wow the lighting here is insane <laughs> uh anyways guys thank you for watching this little video about my cheap how uh, happy Chinese New Year and I'll see you very very soon again. Have a nice day, evening wherever you are in the world. Ling Ling, Sao Xia and Zai Jian. Bye bye.